Robbie and I go to Bourbon Infants Nursery School and I'm seven years old. I like swimming with balls in the swimming pool. I like diving and I like jumping in the swimming pool, going under the water, getting things. And I've never been scared when I'm swimming. And I play football club at school with all my friends and Steve who makes my legs he showed us a piece of paper and it had lots of colours on and I choose black and blue. My name's Jill Jones and my son Robbie when he was 21 months he was diagnosed with meningitis. Robbie was in hospital for eight weeks. The weekend that Robbie was poorly. Um, it just had a, a bit of a temperature, but he was teething as well, so we didn't really think anything of it. We'd put him into bed with us, um, you know, just to keep an eye on him, really. And then Wayne Robbie's dad woke up at about five o'clock in the morning, and it looked like Robbie had um, like shadows over his face, and it was just getting in like, to like daylight. And he'd said it for, for some reason, he said, Don't know, it just doesn't look right. And you know, we, Robbie never had a rash. Yet to this day, it was just bruises. He looked like he'd been in a, um, like a, he looked like he'd been fighting with Mike Tyson. Meningitis never ever struck us at any point. Um, we just thought it might it might have been like an allergic reaction. So we got ready and we rang for Wayne's mum to, to come and see my daughter Abby while we took him to the hospital. And when Wayne's mum came round, she said, "I don't know, just to be on the safe side, let's ring an ambulance." When the ambulance came, they did the tumbler test, and. Yeah, like the, the paramedic just said, look, we need to get him in the ambulance now. He said, I need to give him um, like an antibiotic injection. And he said, if it's what I think it is, it'll help. If it's not what I think it is, then, you know, it won't do him any harm. Um, and then we we got up to the hospital, um, like accident emergency. And when we got there, there was about 12 doctors waiting around the bed for him. And after we'd been in there for a while, there was like a consultant came to see us. And he'd said, your son's dying, he's got meningitis. And that was just absolutely horrific, you know, nearly killed us all. I said, you know, we're going to take him to Newcastle. They said, go home and pack some bags because you're going to be with us for a while. And when we went in, we actually walked straight past him because he was his body was that much filled of like fluid. He was double the size, I mean, he was only like tiny anyway, but he was absolutely enormous. And it was just like a little Michelin man lying in the um, in the bed, and they'd said basically, you know, we've got to tell you the, the truth now. We can only give him five percent chance of survival. So that was when they decided to take him down. That was after he'd been in hospital for two weeks. And I mean, he, the doctor actually told us. He said, "Oh, you know, we'll take him, take him to the, and we, we'll, you know, we'll be back within a couple of hours. Hopefully, it won't be too bad." Um, but he was gone about five and a half hours. Um. And then when we came back, he was back in intensive care and it was just awful, awful, so scary to think something, you know, you don't expect anything like this to happen. And, you know, it was just awful thing. 21 month old, he hadn't been walking very long. And so it's uh, all coming back. Robbie lost his, um, his left leg below the knee and then his right leg above. Um, and the fingertips on his left hand. I had to start physio straight away because I mean he'd been through that much. He couldn't even sit up by himself. I mean the only thing we could eat, he would eat would be um, Kit Kats and Harry Bows. So every time somebody came to visit him, that's all we've got. We had Harry Bows all over the place. Tony Ant and Seas took everything in his stride. Nothing phased him whatsoever. Nothing at all. Robbie was taken in the hospital on the seventh of July, and we booked our wedding. Um, for the 2nd of August so unfortunately we had to cancel that but then we were determined that you know once Robbie was up and on the go that he would walk me down the aisle Um, so the following year it was like the 4th of July the year after Robbie was poorly um, we did actually we, we did get married and Robbie did walk us down the aisle with his um, walking frame and what a I mean it was an absolutely fantastic day a lot of tears and a lot of brought a lot of joy as well because I still had my boy there to walk us down the aisle. 
nothing nothing will ever get in his way nothing will stop him from doing things and i think that's you know it it, it brings us like you know it brings us alive as well because like you say he, we didn't want him to be a little boy sitting in the corner when he when he lost his legs you know he's just up he's on the go and there's no stopping him